The reason Jesus was so peaceful is because he saw the unreality of the world. And that's why he said, be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world, because was Jesus political? No, Jesus wasn't taking a stand for Galilee. He wasn't taking a stand for, for the Jews. He wasn't taking a stand against Rome. He wasn't against anything of this world. Why? Because he knew the world wasn't real. Why would you take a stance against something if you know it doesn't even exist? That's why he was so peaceful. He was living in grace. He was living in divine spirit. And he's a perfect example of what he's guiding us to with the Course in Miracles. He's basically saying like Morpheus told Neo in The Matrix, you need to unplug. And oh boy, did he unplug <laughs> from, from The Matrix. That's the only way that you know that you are the one is to unplug from these false cause-effect ideas. Let's face it, you were never born and you will never die. Now that's a true statement. You know, let's face the fact of that. And then, where are your fears when you realize you, you come to that place that you're dreaming? Suddenly your fears disappear. Suddenly you're not at the mercy of all these external forces. Suddenly you see that you made it up. If I had the power to make it up, I certainly have the power to unmake it. If I had the power to wish it into a seeming existence, wouldn't I have the same power to unwish it? If you have a wish for forgiveness, I'll guarantee you have a wish to unwish the ego. Because that's what forgiveness is, it's unwishing the ego. When you're concerned about your finances, when you're concerned about your health, when you're concerned about your career, I wish I may, I wish I might. See no ego in my sight. Wow, try that one on. <laughs> <laughs>